so hello guys welcome back to youtube channel so in this tutorial video we are going to learn about how to create text distortion animation effects by using pure css so as you can see that this is our text distortion animation effects here guys as you can see we are going to learn this one today here guys okay so let's start with our code so as you can see that i write down our links here and our video which i use fire cracker so let's see over how is video so as you can see this is my video for fire cracker as you can see and i write down here as a muted and as a auto player and and the text i write down here as a particle distortion effects here in active tag but somewhere i write down our span tag as as you can see pa articles this so as you can see this is i write down here span tag for different color for our text okay so let's move forward to our main part our css file <coughs> so let's start with our css file our body so let's curly brackets open and close let's use our display as a flex then justify content as a center then align items as a center let's open our live server so as you can see it's showing my video here only now we are going to give them our text so let's use our minimum height here as a 100 vertical heights then background i am going to choose here as a black color <coughs> so as you can see it's not black it's so black because my videos because of my videos is showing previous black here now let's start with our act to tag curly brackets open and close let's write down position as a relative then margin as a 20 pixel 0 0 now let's write down our <coughs> font size so font size i'm going to give them here as a 4 millimeter or 3 millimeter whichever you want so let's give them let's select the color so it can be visible let's select white color now let's give them the z index as a 1 and overflow i'm going to give them here as a hidden here as you can see let's refresh it as you can see when i refresh here it shows my text here as you can see if i let's just cut this one and paste it in the other one let's save this file so as you can see my text is visible now because of my videos it didn't show up here so we will write down in the end okay so now let's start with our add to before here guys so let's write down our add to before so inside before i'm going to write down as a content as an empty then position as a absolute i'm going to write down here then left as a 120 percentage then width as a hundred percent then height as a hundred percent then let's write down our background as a linear gradient as a 90 degree transparent we are going to use it here as a zero percentage then let's use our color so let's use our black color then let's write down five percentage once again i'm going to use our black color here as a hundred percent <coughs> now let's give them the animation guys so let's give them the name as the animate i'm going to write down let's write down five seconds 
as a linear forward. I'm going to use it here. Now let's give them a keyframe here, guys. So let's give them the keyframe's name as an animate. So let's start with our zero percentage as a left position. Now let's just copy this one and paste. Here we are going to use our hundred percentage. And this one as a minus twenty. Now let's write a copy paste our these line videos. And save. <coughs> now <coughs> we are going to write down our add to span. Curly brackets open and close and select the color. So I'm going to select the blue color here. So let's write down our blue color as this one. As you can see. Is not visible right now, but is visible in the end. So now let's start our video. Color brackets open and close. So we are going to give them the position here as a F sub. So as you can see, my test distortion effects is working right now, as you can see. But I need to write down our top and left position. So let's write down our left position. As a zero, then height and width we need to write. So let's write down our hundred. Then width as a hundred percentage. As you can see, if I write down here as a twenty pixel, then it's going to be work like this. Now let's select the our object. So object fit, I'm going to use it here as a cover, guys. And the Z index, I'm going to put it here as a two. Then let's use our pointer events as a none. Then let's use our mix blend mode here. As a screen, if you want to use it here as a percentage, let's use. So as you can see, that guys, my test distortion effects here is working right now. As you can see. So as you can see, that guys. This is our tax uh, distortion effects works here, guys. But as you can see, my fireworks is cannot pick up the tax here. So I'm going to give them this uh, animate as a three seconds. So it can be faster here. So let's refresh it. So as you can see, it's now completely in this speed right now. If I give them the four second and let's refresh it. So as you can see. So that is how you can do that here, guys. According to your need, you can do that. So as you can see, let's refresh it. So as you can see that, guys, this is my tax distortion effects works here, guys. If you have any query.